Hey everybody, Ezor here, and in this video I'll be showing you how to get all of the ruins for the game Dead Cells. Now, ruins unlock permanent abilities, I guess you could say. They're not really so much abilities as they just uh, are able to get, you're able to get to different areas, and that kind of helps overall for this game, uh, just traversing and then also finding different blueprints and getting different things, so overall the better, the more ruins you get, the better. Now, I won't be showing you the exact pathway to each and every single ruin, I'll just tell you where they're located and what to watch for. Uh, the biggest reason for that is that since this game is always procedurally generated there's no way that what I show you that I did it on will be the same as what you find. With that the first ruin that we'll be going into is gonna be the vine ruin and that's gonna be located in the promenade of the condemned. This is the first area after the prisoners quarters so it's kinda of hard to miss you have to go this way no matter what. As such you'll go through this uh, there are gonna be like little pathways underneath everything just to kind of avoid those for now eventually you will get to this little green slime area and a door that you have to unlock once you go in there, you find the elite, and you'll get the ruin. Pretty simple, but now you can access the vines, which lets you get access to the toxic sewers. Alright, up next is going to be the Customization Ruin, which unlocks Custom Mode. This is going to be located in the Ramparts, which is after the Promenade. Once you get through there, you will go up a giant elevator get to this area, and then you have to fight an Elite right off the bat. When you actually fight this Elite, it will drop the custom Customization Ruin, sorry, and that will unlock Custom Mode. Alright, next up is going to be the Challenger's Ruin, and that's going to be after you fight the Concierge, which is the first boss in the game on the Black Bridge. He's overly not too difficult, he does kind of take a few attempts maybe the first time around just to kind of get down, but he really isn't too bad. Just watch out for his uh, red circle of death, which kind of just hits you non-stop, so kind of annoying there. But either way, once you beat him, he does drop the Ruin, and the Ruin will actually let you do the daily challenges every single day, which has an achievement tied to it but really not much else so far as I've seen, so... Alright, next up is going to be the Teleportation Ruin, and this is actually going to be located in the Toxic Sewers. Like I said, you need to unlock the Vine Ruin in order to get this one, so once you have that, just Eventually, you will die, trust me. Uh, that's the whole point of the game, is that you just die, learn, and get better. Once you die, reset it, and then when you're going through the prison quarters, there's a pathway that you need to use the vine rune for in order to unlock this area. So once you find that area and get through here, you'll come up to a little NPC who will be talking about his rune. Once you go through the whole area, there's going to be a little section right towards the end here that's going to actually have uh, a little boss fight, or an elite fight, I guess you should say. Once you get that, you get the teleportation rune, so... Now you will ask for it back, but you pretty much just tell him, uh, no, I'm good. So, that's about that. Alright, next up is going to be the Ram Ruin. For this one, you need to again reset the game. You need to be going through the Promenade again. And once you get to the very end where this elevator is at, you will notice that if you keep going forward, there's going to be a little spot where you can use the Teleportation Ruin to unlock another area. This is called the Ossuary? Ossuary? I can't... Ooh. I actually don't know how to pronounce that. Ossuary. Whatever, we're going to go with that. Once you get there, as you keep going through, eventually we'll come down this long corridor and you will fight another elite and again get another ruin. Now this is the ram ruin. This one actually lets you destroy um, little symbols in the ground which are really awesome because you can kind of unlock and do a few things with this thing. So.
All right, after getting the RAM ruin, you need to, again, reset it because you actually need to go back to the toxic sewers. And once you go through the toxic sewers all the way through, there will be a spot where you can actually use the RAM ruin and unlock another area to get to the ancient sewers. Now, this is important because you need to go through all the way through the ancient sewers in order to get to the insufferable crypt. And once you get to the insufferable crypt, you have to beat that boss, which is, uh, I'm gonna butcher his name, Conjunctivitis? Conjunct... We're just gonna say he's uh, Gingivitis. Once you beat Gingivitis, he'll go through and the, it will be another area called the Slumbering Sanctuary. Now, this one is kind of a weird spot. It's kind of a two-phase area. It is the first phase is where everything is sleeping, but um, well, you need to go through and activate the whole ruins. On your way to do that the first time through, you will fight again another elite and get the Spider Ruin. This is the this is the one that really kind of unlocks the rest of the game for you. This one will let you jump up walls and run up them as well as hold on to them. You can actually just climb straight up walls, so that's really cool. Now, once you get that and you activate the ruins, you do need to end up going through the ruins themselves and get to the Forgotten Sculpture. And once you get to that particular one, once you go all the way through, there will be another room after you unlock everything that's going to have two elites that you need to fight at once. And you need to get two Crypt Creeds from them, and then you'll get the Explorer's Room. Now this one you might have gotten beforehand, this one all you have to do is just beat the game. Once you beat the game the first time through, you'll end up go, uh, turning into your little uh, regular green self, I guess your actual self, instead of your uh, prisoner body. And you will get a ruin once you beat the game to be able to do that, where you can actually leave the body at any point. That's the Homoculus ruin, so. If I miss one, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make an adjustment video, but ultimately that's going to be everything. So that's going to be all the achievements tied for all of it, and it'll let you really kind of get around very easily, so. Hope you found the video helpful. If you did, go ahead and go to like. If you enjoy other video related content, that's kind of a do, so consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezor. Until next time, keep your story going.